डॉक्टर आंचल अग्रवाल सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन द यूनिट ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी आईवीएफ एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव मेडिसिन एट बी एल के सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल न्यू डेली एज वी ऑल नो इनफर्टिलिटी इज एन एवर इंक्रीजिंग प्रॉब्लम मोर सो नाउ डेज बिकॉज ऑफ वेरियस फैक्टर्स विच हैव बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट सो ऑफन लाइक मोर स्ट्रेस ऑन द करियर्स लेट मैरिजेस our lifestyles we are all very stressed out the whole day <clears throat> there is hardly any time for family to be with the partner uh, the food habits have all changed and uh, even the work profiles are so stressful that there is hardly any time and energy left to think about a child having said all that i would uh, like to add that having a child is every woman's and every man's dream because everyone would want to see their progeny putting it in simple terms i would say that i would like to see a small child who grows up and looking at him or her people say oh see she looks like exactly like anchal she he looks exactly like anchal so that's one joy that nobody wants to be devoid of and that what brings people to us because in today's life uh, it's become quite difficult to conceive and the rate of infertility is ever increasing now um seeing the increasing trend seeing the increasing age at which people are marrying and at which people want treatment there are various options available like there some people conceive only with simple solutions like correction of hormonal defects like follicular monitoring some might require intrauterine insemination if there is a little bit of defect in the sperm uh, count or motility there is mild endometriosis there is ovulation disorder but the treatment which gives you the highest success rate and which works in most of the cases is ivf couples where uh, both the tubes are blocked in the wife due to a previous infection or a previous surgery in cases of severe endometriosis in cases of severe polycystic ovaries in cases of severe male factor where the count motility morphology are abnormal to add to that uh, in cases where there is absolutely no sperm in the semen we call it azoospermia where we have to retrieve sperm through surgical methods uh, whether it's a tisa pisa or a testicular biopsy and those sperms can only be utilized through icsi which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection where we pick up one sperm and we inject it directly inside the egg to facilitate fertilization other cases uh, like <clears throat> um sometimes uh, there have been multiple failed uh, cycles we call it unexplained infertility where the present available techniques and tests are unable to pick up a defect in either of the partners but still pregnancy is not happening so such kind of unexplained infertility have the highest success rates with icsi where fertilization is done outside and the fertilized embryo is then implanted inside the woman's womb the success rate of ivf goes as high as 80% in few months and but to average it out uh, i would put it at 40 to 45% because if you take the average of the whole year it comes to that much and which is the global standard in literature as well at blk infertility ivf and reproductive medicine center we have all the facilities to treat infertile couples under one roof whether it is male infertility whether it requires surgical sperm retrieval or it requires laparoscopic or hysteroscopic corrective surgeries for tubal corrections for removal of septum polyp fibroid or iui or ivf all cases can be tackled here including the latest techniques like blastocyst transfer like assisted zona hatching and in certain indicated cases where the government permits we can even do pre implantation genetic screening or pre implantation genetic diagnosis so all the facilities available at one center with highly personalized care and very good success rates
in case of any further help queries or information please subscribe to our youtube channel